According to the 2024 Deloitte Global Survey, a staggering 40% of Gen Z report feeling stressed almost all the time. And I can't help but wonder, why? Why are we, in what should be the prime of our lives, so weighed down with anxiety? Why is Gen Z so unhappy? For those unfamiliar, Gen Z refers to people born between 1997 and 2012. We've grown up surrounded by technology. Computers, smartphones, and social media have been part of our lives from the start. You might think, isn't it because we spend so much time glued to screens, chasing that quick dopamine hit, that we've lost our sense of joy? And sure, there's some truth to that. Many of us are caught in a cycle of digital addiction. Some spend over 10 hours a day on phones, video games, or social media, seeking a quick escape from reality. So, that's it? Can we blame all our unhappiness on Gen Z for being glued to that damn phone? Maybe we should look past the surface and see what kind of reality we're actually trying to escape. The reality is, the economic struggles we face are a harsh contrast to the perfect lives we see on social media. We are burdened by the immense pressure of society's definition of success. And to be honest, it's exhausting. Global economic instability, coupled with the rise of automation and artificial intelligence, has made many traditional jobs more short-term, unstable, and lacking in security. We are forced to navigate a more flexible, yet riskier job market, and this uncertainty only adds to our anxiety. Although our generation earns more in the early stages of our careers than previous generations at the same age, it's nowhere near enough to keep up with the skyrocketing cost of living. Our wages are completely devoured by exorbitant tuition fees, medical expenses, and daily costs, especially housing costs. Just think about it. Housing prices have doubled in major cities worldwide, while wages haven't kept up, making homeownership nearly impossible. Even if we manage to buy a house, it's usually in remote areas, with mortgage payments far heavier than what our parents had to bear. For those renting, it's even worse. Rents rise every year, making it hard to make ends meet, let alone save. This pressure makes it feel like, no matter how hard we try, we can't escape the financial burden. But I believe there is still hope. I dream of homes that are both affordable and sustainable, helping people like us find a place in cities we thought we could never afford. Homes that can be built quickly, offering quality and affordability, so we can enter the housing market sooner. These homes wouldn't just ease our financial burdens, they'd give us the sense of security we so desperately need. I dream of homes that create real communities, where neighbors can truly connect, so we don't feel so alone. Homes that provide not only shelter, but emotional support, meeting our needs both physically and mentally. We feel you, people. Gen Z is already facing a turbulent world, and we need something stable to hold on to, something that offers us a sense of security. Let's hope that the homes we dream of will soon become a reality. If you're feeling this video, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share it with your squad. What should we discuss next? Drop it in the comments below.